No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hi, we're here at the Teradek booth at NAB 2015, and I'm here with uh, Topher, and he's going to tell us uh, all about what Teradek has for us. Awesome. Thanks, David. We're Teradek. We make a lot of gear for cinema um, and for the live streaming market, but let's just talk about cinema. So the first thing we've got, we have a firmware update that's free to our customers for the Bolt series, and with that, we now have 3D LUTs built into the Bolt receivers. So your director can view his LUT while the DP is looking at the raw image. Everybody can pick and choose what color profile profile they want to see on the bolt. If you look at the right side of the screen, we've got all kinds of different uh, profiles just to look at. And uh, so you can pick your profile and you can load your own custom LUTs in there as well. So yeah, multiple LUTs, however you want to do it. Really simple and again, it's a free firmware update that's going to be available at the beginning of May. And uh, how many receivers can you uh, connect up? Uh, you can do four receivers at one time. Yep. So then the next product we have, it's, a, it's, a, it's brand new for NAB, it's the Teradex Spark. So Spark, if you can't tell, is a little bit similar to the Bolt line, but it, the Bolt line runs on a 5 gig bandwidth, and this is now under the uh, 60 gigahertz spectrum. What's cool is it's a higher frequency, so it doesn't get bogged down with all the interference like 5 gigs can in some environments, like trade show environments. Uh, but what's really great about Spark, so no interference, it's a lower range because of that higher frequency, but it's uh, still zero delay, uncompressed, full HD, and uh, it's highly reflective as well. So even if there's an obstruction in the middle, you can bounce that signal off a wall back to the director, or you could even point it at the ceiling and it will blank it down within the set so everybody can see what's going on. So right here, what we're doing is we've got a red and we've, uh, we've been able to do a firmware update where now we can control the red through the full control app. So now you have full camera control on your red from your phone or from your iPad, and it's all going through the cube. So no more bulky modules, nothing like that, just your cube running straight through. And then you can also use, while you're doing all that, the cube can still have its full functionality. So you can, uh, you can go straight to an iPad for you know a client monitor, things like that, while you're on set. 